When people think of wildlife cinematographers, they usually think of these hardcore shooters with massive gear that have infinite patience and time to get the shot. These days, the reality is there's usually a strict deadline and budget limitations, which is why I think so many wildlife shows end up using stock footage to fill the gaps. I hate using stock footage. I shot an entire wildlife series on Nat Geo Wild in less than a year, and I didn't use one stock shot. Now, that was partly because of my pride, but mainly because I follow a few basic rules that people sometimes forget when they think of wildlife production. First and foremost, you have to be comfortable in the wild. Adapt and embrace the chaos, as they say. Secondly, you have to be in the right place at the right time, obviously. But you have to be able to maximize those odds. So knowing the prime area, considering environmental conditions like the weather or the tide, uh, knowing when to pursue and when to wait, all these things require good instincts just as much as it does good research. Third, you have to streamline the right gear in order to move fast but still get those slick planet Earth style shots. So stabilizers, underwater housings, drones, GoPros on occasion. Basically, I have all the essentials on hand so I can go wherever I need, whenever I need to. Finally, and most importantly, you have to be fearless in order to get unique shots. Otherwise, you're just shooting everything from a distance with a long lens. Which is pretty, but it doesn't tell the whole story. So, if you follow these rules, it's totally possible to be essentially a run-and-gun wildlife cinematographer.